On Wednesday, August 2, 2023, students and teachers of Vanimo Secondary School and Don Bosco Technical Secondary School in Sandown Province officially launched the photovoltaic solar system. The photovoltaic solar system uses solar panels and battery storage system to complement PNG power and to ensure seamless power during blackouts. This marks the first time that such technology has been used in Papua New Guinea. Constant power disruptions to classes will no longer be an issue. Vanimo Secondary School Principal, Mr. William Meyer, who spoke on behalf of the two schools, thanked UNDP and European Union. Even though both schools are located within the Vanimo Township, almost half of the student population come from the remotest part of the province. We have enrolled students in the most rural part of West Pacific province, from as far as Oksapin and Telefomin to Nuku and Lumi in the interior of West Pacific province. These students are beneficiaries of this project. This service gives us the enabling environment to ensure that we can continue to offer such courses to the students that would otherwise not be able to benefit from such a service. A key partner in the successful commissioning of the system is PNG Power Limited. PNG Power engineers carried out inspection and assessment of the design to make sure all the requirements were met. PNG Power Senior Manager for Government Relations and Regulations, Mr. Roy Dagi, acknowledged UNDP for the opportunity to be involved in the project. He said that since it is a new hybrid program, it will guide PNG Power to develop new policies and guidelines to facilitate projects wanting to access the PNG Power grids and system and renewable energy options. Mr. Dagi explains the photovoltaic system. At the moment, they can run concurrent. PNG Power can run, the battery can run, and the solar PV can run during a peak uh, during the midday. But when it goes to four or five o'clock, when the sun sets, it switches automatically to the battery, and then the grid continues to run, and then it charges the battery. And then, if in a case where PNG Power is off, then the battery is already charged. The panel is off. It's not producing because it's dark, but the battery can run. Can run, as, uh, as I said, for four hours if all uh, the loads are utilized. But if you cut off all other big loads and only use the lights, you can run it for 24 hours without PNG power. The Director of Education in Sundown Province, Mr. Hilary Swamba, urged the recipients of the system to take care of the gift given to them. You are very fortunate, the two schools, out of more than 500 schools that we have in the province. The best way that we all can say thank you to our donor is to ensure that we make full use of the facility or the infrastructure and at the same time look after what has been provided. The United Nations Development Programme and the European Union emphasize the importance of renewable energy and the need to promote it in Papua New Guinea. The country has a conducive environment to promote clean energy that is not dependent on fuel, oil and diesel. So what we want to do is we want to promote clean source energy and that is also our way forward moving from 2024 to 2028 where UNDP will be promoting more green energy into the, in, in PNG itself. Now in, the, in Europe, in, in, in our countries, we find it very important to make a shift to, to clean and green energy. What does it mean? Energy that doesn't use fossil fuels, so that doesn't burn fuel, gas, and that, that, that creates pollution. So that's why also in our countries, we put a lot of solar power, wind power, things like that. And, and of course, other countries like, like PNG, because I think EU is a friend of PNG, we also like to help our friends to make that happen. So and that's why we're here. Both schools came together as one to thank the European Union for funding the project.